do this because it's a nice little review of the Grand Slam that was. So peak is obviously, you know, our best moment. Pit, our lowest moment. Pleasant surprise. Um, well, that does what it says on the tin. So let's start with our positive peak moments. Joel, what's yours from this tournament? I've, I've got to go with an obvious one. Um, mm-hmm. Jack Draper's semi-final run here. Been fantastic. It's uh, It's been, you know, the fact that he didn't drop a set en route. We got to see him face... Yannick Sinner. It was almost, I think, a blessing in disguise for for British fans that that Carlos Alcaraz went out so early, and I think it sets him up very well for the end of the season. And it's just got all the, I think, British fans excited about the fact that he's delivering on his talent and um, he's making inroads. And who knows, we might be looking at a future Grand Slam champion in the making. Absolutely, I I, I did put Draper down as well as as my peak. Um... I, I have some that are kind of peaks and pleasant surprises. Kind of, I wasn't really sure All how to rolled into them. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I have to say, for me, that the one moment of the tournament where I was like mouth open, like with you know amazement, was Djokovic losing to Popper in. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, 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 that sounds a bit harsh, but I suppose that was a bit of a peak in the sense that it was kind of like a bit oh, of a thrill. It's, it's finally someone else's moment yeah we, we yeah. might get a random final what a thrill you know mm. um little so... did you know <laughs> little did i know the number one seed would would still win um but almost actually tonight i did feel are we lacking a bit of Djokovic gravitas in this final so i can know, see that part of me did yeah, kind of miss that mm. yeah. uh, and chris what about you well for my peak i actually went for mukova just because okay um I spoke to her in Eastbourne about her, where she started her road to recovery. And I just think it's it's really, really nice that she's managed to get herself back into the semi-final. And obviously it wasn't quite enough to make it past Pagula. But when you think about how much she's been through, for me, I just was very, very pleased that she was she was winning and that she seemed to be fit and healthy and happy on the court. Um, when you say healthy, not healthy for all of her matches, but she did win that quarterfinal. She got through it, but I just love the story. And I think for me, that's been my peak. Nice, nice. Absolutely, yeah. Fantastic to have her back and in the semi-finals again. And our pits, uh, Joel, what's been your worst moment of the US Open? Uh, I think a low point uh, for me was the had admire mm. Alan Skyer double bounce. Ridiculous. All the gear, no idea. We had the technology. We were trialing VAR, instant replay, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I mean, for what seemed like a quite an obvious double bounce um, that we could see mm. on the visuals, on the TV, the, um, you know, the tennis umpire, the officials, they still got it wrong. So I feel like there's still a lot of work to do yeah. there. And it's just sad that I think that, as I say, we've got the technology, but we need to make sure that uh, the people who are using mm. it are trained in the right way. Well, Callan Sky did make it to the final, technically. <laughs> yes, that's very she true. She did, yeah. yeah. Mm. Despite <laughs> this, but maybe we do need um, automatic umpiring as well as automatic line calls. <laughs> yeah. Automatic everything. Yes. Yes. I, I, I think my pit, I'm going to go next. Maybe Caroline Garcia just getting worse. <laughs> um, no. I she mean, she's in, still she's seeded. She's still seeded. Yeah, she's split from her coach. She uh, was seeded, yeah, but she was Since also in Portugal. She went to Portugal before, she and we clearly outlined that that's the reason why yeah. she didn't do well. Very that's well. not that's not hard court in the US, is it? No, but yeah, just you know, what where's where's her form gone? It's non-existent. Mm. So maybe that, um, Chris. I had two for this as well, but I mean. Wozniacki, I was watching that round four match against Hadadmaya. I invested a lot of time and energy in that and she didn't make it through. Um, I love so th- that. That's a pit. Wozniacki reaching round four. I, I had a, I had it for the quarterfinals. Yeah. I had it for the quarterfinals. I was oh, okay. pleasantly under, underwhelmed oh, okay. there. But, okay. um, I would also say the Jack Draper Vom situation <laughs> where he was cleaning it up yes. himself. I'm like, that oh, is a pit. Sad. That's a pit for he, anyone. And he put the towel back in the towel bin. Yeah, and the ball boys. Yeah, the ball <laughs> no. boys are also supposed to be handing towels. So I think that was Great. truly a pit for anyone. And it probably did feel like a pit for Jack Draper and Arthur Ashe. Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's rank. Grim. Um and pleasant surprise <laughs> moving away from vomit, Joel. Um, I've got JPEG, Jessica Bagula making a Grand Slam final, uh, because I'm not gonna lie. Penko. Wait, what? <laughs> No, not Ostapenko. Actually, that is a good that is a good one. Um, but um, yeah, I'm going Jessica Bagula. You know, she's been the I feel like she's been the nearly person on the WTA tour now for so long, particularly 
in the Grand Slam. So it was good to see her sort of ride her a wave of momentum across the the summer and, and make good on that and, and get to the final. And and as I say, make 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 Sabalenka you know think think sweat in there. yeah make her sweat make her I mean nearly push her to a third set. So um yeah I'm going JPEG making her first nice. uh, Slam final. Nice. In the in singles, sorry. Yes, in singles. In singles, yes, of course, to clarify. <laughs> uh I think for me, my pleasant surprise, I've got two really. Brandon Nakashima getting to the fourth oh, round. He's back, one. isn't he? Yeah. He had a great tournament. He did drop a set, did he, to get to that to get to that point? Uh he did drop a set to Massetti, but oh, okay. he had some yes. yeah, decent, decent wins, Ma- Nakashima, only losing to Zverev in the fourth. And then I have to say that first round with Dan Evans and oh, Hatchinov. Yes. It was giving uh, Murray, wasn't it? Absolutely. Brilliant from Dan Evans. Was it four love down in the last set to win? I mean, that's yeah, that's yeah. very good. Fantastic. That was um, that got me, you know, fist pumping at the telly. So mm-hmm. yeah, go Dan Evans and Chris. What about you? Pleasant surprise. Well, I mean, I'm I don't want to cheat and say two for everything, so I'm going to say the fashion because I feel like Naomi Osaka served, you know, Serena with Nike, the ambush that she sort of the line that she was wearing. It really was a surprise. I don't think anyone thought necessarily that that would be what she would be Hang on, wearing. Do you not mean Naomi Bosaka? I thought I wasn't allowed to say that anymore, Joel. I can so say it. No, you're you not, can say it. I you haven't say used it, it yeah. yet. Exactly. <laughs> but I also thought pleasantly surprised that Morgan Riddle did pack seven outfits considering she had the Pilates class. <laughs> so I was expecting her to be in active wear. But no, she did have a wonderful sort of two piece sort of um, a suit set. So very, very nice. Um, but I mean, this has really been a, a, a wild selection of peak bit pleasant surprises from us this time. <laughs> I like the fashion, I do. Um, but yes, that does bring us to a close for the first half.